you are going to see some Broadway credits when you're reading the bios of our actors. You're going to see some Broadway credits and some significant uh, experience and background in the actors that are in this show. I grew up in this small town of Houston, Texas, but I'm currently based in New York. I just finished in May my master's degree at UC San Diego. Uh, I bounced between New York and LA. I think I'm gonna land in Chicago, and I'm actually from Cincinnati, so I'm not too far away from here. I'm an actor based in Chicago, originally from uh, Duluth, Minnesota. I'm a New York, New Yorker now, uh, have been for almost 20, 20 years. Like Lombardi, I was born and bred in Brooklyn. I grew up in Kentucky, in Lexington, Kentucky, and I've been living in New York now for a while. I've been up there for about five years. I've been done a lot of things in New York. I've worked uh, off-Broadway, done Broadway tours, had a one night only on Broadway show, which was kind of interesting. Most recently I did um, Dumas' uh, Man in the Iron Mask, where I played DeWard. A, uh, people call him the bad guy, but I just say he was doing his job and serving the king. And I also was in Henry Ford Part Two. had a couple of parts in that. I've, I work regionally. I've worked at uh, Utah Shakespeare Company, and um, I have a gig coming up at American Players Theater. A lot of Chicago-based uh, uh, classic theater and musical theater commercials in Chicago, and then the last you know year and a half or so, I've done a lot of regional work. Worked at the uh, Oslo Rep down in Sarasota, Florida, uh, the Maltz Jupiter Theater in Jupiter, Florida. I worked up at the Gateway in New York. I worked. Uh, 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 pen players in, in Door County, Wisconsin, so I've been around a little bit. HB Studios, uh, Bill Hickey, a uh, great actor uh, from Prizzy's Honor, you might remember him. Bill Hickey was, was fabulous. He was my teacher. Austin Pendleton, Sandy Dennis, Herbert Berghoff, Uta Hagen. I worked here in Xenia at Blue Jacket for a while. Oh, actually, during college, I worked, you know, every other year during the summers. I was in Cincinnati at the Ensemble Theater doing a production of The Whipping Man, which is a beautiful show. Before that, I had worked with Blue Man Group for a while in the city. Uh, from the time that they showed interest in me, my agent, Lynn, uh, at the Krasny office in New York told me that they've sent a lot of people from New York from that agency here who had nothing but wonderful remarks. So I knew I was going to be in good company based off of what she said and as well as some of the other people who I talked to at the Krasny office. Yeah, I went to uh, undergrad at Wright State University, not too far away, so I'm familiar with the theater. I've uh, been seeing shows here for eight or nine years. It's been great to be welcomed and taken care of as well as we have, so it feels very f uh, familial. Uh, so it feels really, really comfortable, really nice. Everybody's been lovely here. It's, uh, it's got a very grounded feeling, a sense of purpose, and that's, that's wonderful. Yes, people m met you and you could just feel a good, vib vibrant energy. And uh, I love the name, Human Race. Combining the talents that we bring in regionally from New York, Chicago, and elsewhere um, with our local talented artists that we have is a very powerful piece. And, and I think both sides benefit from it. The actors coming in, all the actors coming in from out of town that I've ever worked with uh, are thrilled when they leave here in the experience and they want to come back and work at the human race with our local artists.